Welcome to your Money Monday! Data or facts tell, but stories sell. Hey, I'm Rich Motts. Welcome to Money Monday, session 252. Yes, it's very true, folks, that data tells and stories sell. Okay? So data or facts tell, but stories sell. And that's super important nowadays. I mean, we're never going to see this market again. This is the best real estate market ever in history. And we don't want you to miss out on it. And of course, it's also the most challenging market in history. So we want to give you the strategies and the tools to succeed in this great market. Okay? So check this stuff out, okay? Conversion equals communication. 7% of communication is the words you use, okay? 55% of communication is your body language, and 38% is your tonality, okay? So you gotta keep that in mind when you're dealing with a lot of different aspects, different kind of people that you're dealing with in today's marketplace. So today's market, what's different about it? It's a skill-based marketplace. So you need number one, to create certainty with your clients. Number two, you have to establish that rapport right there. And number three, you need to create action. Okay, that's all there is to it in a skill-based market. So how are you gonna create certainty, establish rapport, and create action, okay? So you need to know your market inside and out, study it every day, look at the statistics and what's going on within the marketplace, and establish authority within that marketplace by sharing those statistics actually with your sphere of influence. You gotta know your dialogues. You need to practice and be sharper than anyone else right now. It's super important in this crazy, competitive, complex, challenging market that we're in. You gotta know your dialogues. Really work on them every day. And you have to know your client, actually know how to respond to your client's needs. So check that stuff out. You have to definitely develop rapport. Okay, so you gotta develop that empathy for their needs. You gotta validate and affirm what their needs are to make them feel that you care and you do care and you know, you're, you want them, you wanna work with them. In that verbal pace for communication, you have to figure out what pace they are at so you can be versatile and go to their actual pace, all right? Make sense? So create action. You need to actually create action with supporting data. Okay, using emotion to act. Definitely do that. So the ultimate appointment setting strategy that you need to check out, okay? You need LRBN, which is the logical reason to buy now. You need to be able to discover, to actually, you know, display why it's logical to buy a home right now. So give them the facts, the great facts of what's going on in the marketplace. So the LRBN, logical reason to buy now. Then you have the ERBN, which is emotional reason to buy now, okay? So that's what you gotta do. You gotta give them with the facts, and then you need to give them the stories to actually go with their emotions. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay, LRBN versus ERBN. So, and now more than ever, we need to find out their logical reason why they need to sell now, and their, and their emotional reason to sell now. So you need to be looking at that. LRSN and the ERSN, okay? Makes sense, right? We need that right now. So it's really simple, folks. Logic, the stats, they get people to think, right? Yes, they do. And emotion actually gets people to act. So you need to get that, find out what's going on with them emotionally to get them to act, okay? So giving them the data right away, it's really easy logical reason to buy now or the logical reason to sell now you need to be able to explain the market like this the inventory levels the days on market the price appreciation okay the number of multiple offers that are coming in the uh, interest rate momentum okay the movement of interest rates if interest rates go up one percent ten percent more buyers are out of the picture so that's critical for you to be able to express that okay so the emotional reason to buy now you need to actually look at that. what's important for them about buying a home or what's important for them selling a home. You need to find that out. So you need to look at this, okay? How's that important to you? You know, that bigger yard, that extra 
office space. What will that do for you? So you need to ask that to go into the emotional part of what they're feeling, okay? So ultimately, having that bigger office and that bigger backyard, what will that all do for you? And that will dig into their emotional trigger more, okay? And then when they answer you and they say, hey, it's gonna give us that office space, it's gonna give us security for our kids, it's going to uh, just make us emotionally feel better. So you can just say, fortunately, to get you one step closer to that bigger backyard, the office space, and you emotionally and security, securely feeling better about your family, then all we need to do is simply set an appointment so that I can help you with what you want within the time frame that you want to accomplish it. Now, wouldn't that be great? Boom, right there, okay? So again, emotion gets people to act, logic gets people to think, okay? So you need to create action, support it with data. So get those stats out there and get them out. We're doing a terrible job with that. Get those stats out there and then use emotion to act by getting those stories out there. Make sense, folks? Check it out. Okay, remember, data tells and stories sell. So get that data out there about this best market ever in history and connect with their emotions and give them stories about other people that you've treated that you've helped in this crazy market successfully. Okay, get those stories out there. Get those stories out there, super important. I hope you liked this video today. Most important part is for you to take action. I'm Rich Motz and I will see you next Monday, Monday. Reach out if you need anything. Thanks so much, bye-bye.